Imagine that we have to run this experiment with five variables and we need 32 um, experiments to complete one replication of the experiment. Now oftentimes it is impossible to make samples from one single batch, uh, 32 samples from one single batch to test uh, the experiment. So and so and sometimes it's not even possible to make uh, 16 um, um, so a specimen from a batch. So let's say we need four um, different batches to get these 33 experiments done. So if we want to get the uh, four batches, we have to confound basically um, two of the uh, effect. So typically the higher order interaction is confounded because we're not interested in higher order interaction. They're not oftentimes they're, they're difficult to explain and they really don't exist uh, much. Um, even though they exist it's, it's difficult to explain and uh, there is a if something in in design of experiment or in any situation is something is difficult to explain is probably there is another way of doing it. So oftentimes these higher order interactions are, are not really that important. So how do we, um, let's imagine that we want to confound uh, ADE uh, between two blocks and then um, BCE in next two uh, blocks. So then we will have total four blocks. Um, so if we want to see the um, um, the sign for ADE, we can simply multiply A times D times E. And for BCE, we can do equal to B times uh, C times E, like that. And then we can copy all the way down, like that. And then we can create one, um, insert one column for uh, blocks. So we want to assign uh, blocks for each of these treatment combination. Now whenever we have two, uh, we want to allow block two, treat them as a kind of like a factor. So ADE and then BCE, uh, we can just, if we just treat them as a factor, you know that we run uh, both low, that's our control, like that um, uh, we don't need that so that's our control both low and then ade high as plus one minus bce low and then ade low and then uh, bce high and then both high so this tip sorry about that so this treatment combination, these four treatment combinations, so this, this thing goes in and uh, which block. So this, if we see some uh, both sign uh, negative, then that goes in say block one, this goes in block two, this goes in block three, and this goes in block four. So we want to create these four blocks. So very simple, you just look at the sign that we uh, found by multiplying the A, B, ADE whatever that we want to block and then we just arrange that here in this block so minus one minus on both low of that so that would go in block one and then this will go in block two this will go in block three this goes in block four and then this one is block three block four block one that is block two block two block one at both high block four and then ADE low that goes in block three this goes in both high block four block three and then block two block one block four uh, first on low so that goes in block three this goes in block two block one block two, block one, all high, block four. This goes in block three, block three, block four, block one, block two, block one, block three, 
sorry i think that is block two that's block two block three block four that's it so that's how we arrange so this uh, treatment combination goes in block one and along with that if we write just one block to show you which one goes go where let me write that down so in block one what we have here we had both ade low uh, minus one and then bce also minus one so in that block we have uh, in that's block one so we have the control we just follow the number one so bc and then keep going ad and then follow one so that's a b c d and then keep going one a b e a c e let me scroll down so we got a c e that is block one and then we have uh, what is one here b d e b d e and then we got c d e i think that's all so one two three four five six seven eight yes so this eight goes in block one and you can just create um, block two block three and so on so if we use this excel it's very simple to create um, these uh, blocks um, we could use either this plus minus method or the linear combination method i have shown in another video so this is how we create multiple blocks so you could do block on block two block four so this experiments eventually run in four blocks and this block on data these combinations came from one batch and then block two come from another batch and so on